Welcome to this Zenworks demonstration video. In this video, we will highlight some of the main features in Zenworks 2017 Update 4. These features span across all portfolios in both mobile and client management. In mobile management, one of the main features for this release is the ability to distribute Wi-Fi configurations to iOS and Android mobile devices. Administrators can now create and deploy Wi-Fi profile bundles on users' devices, enabling them to connect their devices to the corporate network using the specified Wi-Fi configuration. Factory Reset Protection for Android Devices This feature enables you to maintain control and secure devices by preventing users from factory resetting their work-managed devices from the Settings app. You can also whitelist one or more corporate unlock accounts that need to be authenticated before the device will continue with setup in case of unauthorized factory resets, such as from bootloader or fast boot. The device is unusable until it is unlocked using the corporate accounts. Direct boot support for Android devices. In this release, Zenworks supports direct boot for Android 7.x devices. This feature enables the Zenworks agent to always be active on an Android device even before the device is unlocked after being rebooted. With this feature, administrators can enforce policies such as the compliance policy, remove the work profile, or factory reset the device even if the device has not been unlocked. Quick task to reboot Android mobile devices. You can now restart Android work managed devices by using the existing reboot shutdown quick task. Support for new Android restrictions. The list of Android restrictions have been significantly enhanced for both Android work profile and work managed devices, including Android P devices. These restrictions include settings such as enabling device keyguard features, mounting of physical external media, sharing of data using NFC Beam, and restricting OS updates. Support for new iOS 12 restrictions and DEP settings. Additional iOS 12 restrictions such as automatic update of the date and time setting up of new devices that are within proximity and delaying OS updates are available as a part of this release. The DEP settings are also enhanced to support features that enable the selection of the default language and region while setting up Apple TV devices. Additionally, to set up an iOS 12 DEP device, you can skip setup screens such as screen time, iMessage and FaceTime. Intune App Protection Policy for Android Devices You can now secure Android apps built using the Intune SDK, for example Microsoft Office 365 apps, without users having to enroll their devices in Zenworks. Support for iOS Enterprise Apps Using the existing bundles feature, Zenworks now lets you distribute custom in-house apps that are not publicly available for distribution to iOS devices. Deprecation of the Device Admin API With this release, Zenworks has stopped support for the basic mode of enrollment that uses the Device Admin API for Android devices. This comes after Google's announcement to deprecate the Device Admin API from the Android P release. Zenworks will now support only two ways of enrollment for Android devices, the Work Profile mode and the Work Managed Device mode. Autofill credentials in the Zenworks app using a QR code. The Zenworks app login screen is now enhanced to include an icon that will enable the user to scan the QR code to automatically fill the login credentials. Users just need to tap the icon and scan the QR code embedded within the received invite letter, after which the user is redirected to the app and the login credentials, excluding the password, 
is automatically filled. Mobile hardware inventory data in CCC web reports. Hardware inventory information about mobile devices is now being stored in inventory tables. This enables the information to be available in the CCC inventory reports. New fields have been added in inventory reports to facilitate the same. Locate and wipe Windows 10 devices. The locate feature in Zenworks uses the Windows 10 location service to geographically locate devices that operate on Windows 10 version 1709 and later Windows 10 operating systems. You can access the geolocation tab when you click a workstation's device link. And with the new Wipe Quick Task, you can reset the selected Windows device's operating system to its factory settings and remove all non-operating system files and the applications from the device. You can implement the Quick Task when you have a Windows 10 device selected in the workstations list. Install Schedule in Bundles With the new Bundle Installation Schedule, you can now define the date and time when bundles should be installed on managed devices. This feature helps in scenarios where the content is distributed upfront, but the application needs to be installed on a particular date or at a particular time. Referencing an existing WIM in an MDT bundle Until now, for each and every MDT bundle, you had to upload a WIM file and WIM files can be bulky and occupy a lot of space on the content server. And it is tedious to upload the same WIM file multiple times. However, there might be a possibility that you might have earlier configured multiple bundles that use the same WIM file, but configured with different action sets. Using this new feature, administrators can now create MDT bundles using WIM files that have already been uploaded in an existing bundle. Trigger an inventory scan just after a device is re-imaged. Once a device is re-imaged using the imaging tools, the admin usually needs to wait for the scheduled scan to complete before the data is uploaded to the server. With this new feature, administrators can now get to know immediately about changes in the inventory data and they can take the required actions such as deployment of software bundles. Updated application controls using endpoint security. Enhancements made to the application control policy enable wildcard entries in application control lists, which provide more comprehensive access controls with less configuration overhead. Updated storage device controls using endpoint security. Enhancements made to the storage device control policy simplify policy creation and maintenance, and pave the way for more controls in the next release. Release device patches from quarantine using a quick task. Scheduled policy or remediation installations of patches on a device will not execute for quarantined patches. If you resolved an issue that prohibited a patch from installing, but the patch is quarantined, you can use the Release Quarantined Patches Quick Task to release these patches on a device. Patches that are released from quarantine remain in a released state until an installation attempt is executed. Process or Service Check in Bundles Within a Zenworks bundle, it is now possible to add a requirement to check for processes or services that are running on a managed device. These checks are available as system requirements for an action for the bundle itself. So you can now execute an action only if a certain service or process is running. It allows actions to be executed based upon the existence or non-existence of a service. This release also includes the following new features. For more information on the new features in Zenworks 2017 Update 4, please refer to our documentation site. Thanks for watching.